Today I'm gonna build a tiny farm with just the base game and the cottage living pack. Don't mind the lots next to this one, they are previous builds. It is a very small farm, I think you can even use the uh, tiny living lots rate if you have the tiny living pack. I didn't use it on this one, so everyone who just has the base game and got its living can uh, can download this one. It is on the gallery. My username there is Tara Watson, no space. Yeah, you see me working on the shape of the of the house. The house will be very very small. It will be for only one sim. Of course, if you download it, you can uh, change it. I think with a little bit of imagination, you could make a second bedroom out of the. Uh, what did I uh, make? A, uh, a closet in there. <laughs> there is a, a very a big closet in there, and therefore is the stuff your sim might need. You can even make it a laundry room if you want to. I love this tiny butterfly window on top. It is so pretty. It's the prettiest thing that came with this pack. I also really like the windows that, uh, that came with it. Only they aren't really... Yeah, the same swatches, you mean? Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, the, not the same color brown, not the same color blacks. It's a bit, uh, bit weird. But I got the matching sets. Also, the brick wallpaper I really, really like. Everything in this bag is based on uh, England, on how the houses are there. And uh, those are very similar to Dutch houses, so I uh, quite enjoy this actually. And of course a lot of landscaping here. Uh, behind this wall will be the fireplace, so I'm not able to put a window in here. Even though it seems like the perfect place for it, but I'm just covering the wall up with lots and lots of plants. We got this new light, which is absolutely gorgeous and actually emits a lot of light. Something a lot of the uh, other lights don't do. And we got this gorgeous fireplace. Um, you saw me fill up the space behind the fireplace with a platform that's so that the wall will stay up even if you play with half walls i think it's just prettier and this is the supply closet there is a place for your sims clothes and just some stuff they may need around the farm some uh, some decorations in here of course you can make it into a very small bedroom a toddler bedroom should be possible and this is a very big bathroom for a small home like this. I just really like the new stuff we got with uh, with this pack, the new bath, the new sink, and I really wanted to use it. So uh, I uh, I invested in the bathroom and of course some clutter, so your Sims won't use that counter to cook on. A very small kitchen. There isn't a sink in the kitchen, but your Sims can use the sink in the bathroom. Of course, uh, especially when there's only one sim living in here, there won't uh, be any risk of dying of embarrassment or something. I tried to place the double bed in here, but I'm not entirely sure your sim can reach it. So I opted for a single bed. It's just a, uh, a base game bed, which is a very cute. Um, I think I'm gonna change the swatches. I tried using the new couch, but it is just way too big for this space. So I went with a small base game couch just uh, for two sims to sit on in front of the fireplace. I was doubting whether or not I should place a TV on there, but I didn't think it really fit this build. So I didn't. I love the new rug we got with this. I sized it one down so it fit in here. And those floorboards are absolutely beautiful. They actually look a lot like the floor I have in my own house. The new wallpaper is an acquired taste. <laughs> it's not really my thing. It's really, really old fashioned. Uh, the one with the uh, bunnies and acorns is perfectly for perfect for a kids room, of course. I love the typewriter we got. It functions as a computer. I just placed a small dining table in there so you see can use the computer. We got those new blinds, which are very, very cute. And, but for those smaller windows, we didn't get any window coverings, so I just went for some base game curtains. And now I'm just placing some art in here and changing the swatches, some flowers of course. And we got a new plant, which is so beautiful. 
and a small coffee table just base game one and now i'm going in with the clutter i love the basket with the pillows and the blankets blankets we got and of course the tea set on the table because it's just very very cute and now on the outside of the house i'm just placing lots and lots of plants i love the wisteria we got in here just uh, placing it all around the house and a little pathway in here just to make it cute and of course we need a mailbox and we got a pond tool which this was one of the first times i was using the pond tool so i needed to uh, practice a little bit like you like you just saw oh, i don't really like the mucky waters it could be nice for a build where, um, where everything is a bit run down or something in the swamp or something but for here I just wanted clear waters and of course ducks and uh, fishes uh, and swans are all swimming in, <laughs> in this pond and my favorite tree on fr in the front this backyard is really big and it I'm gonna use the whole entirety of it to make it an actual farm of course we got the chicken coop I didn't have enough space for the uh, llama or the cow shed I'm, I mean I might have been able to put it in, in here but I didn't really think it, uh, it fitted its small, small vibe. And we got those new garden patches here. I'm just laying them in rows. I didn't realize at this time that you could just place them together. Uh, your sims can just walk across those patches. It's not, not like the, those planter boxes. You simply can just walk over them. So you can just uh, join them together if you if you want to. I didn't realize when I will, build, was building this. But I think it still looks really cute. And I went into the debug menu. For this pack the debug menu is where it's at. I really don't understand why they didn't put everything just in the regular catalog. There are so many pretty things like those patches of grass with flowers I placed there. It's just uh, a lot, lots of stuff in there. And these are the screenshots. I really hope you liked this build. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps spread this video to more people that might like it. There will be a next 100 baby challenge episode tomorrow and a new rags to riches next Wednesday. So I hope to see you then. Bye bye.